So we're going to go over uh, a technique uh, that my mentor, Karen London, developed. Uh, she outlined in her book called Feisty Fido uh, Solutions for a Leash Reactive Dog. So uh, just uh, if you're looking for the book, you're watching this at home, it's Karen London, spelled just like a city, and just uh, Lee, uh, Feisty Fido is the name of the book. So basically what she does is she gets a handful of treats, which I'm going to put myself about five or six treats in this hand, and then I'm going to have one in this hand. Now this is going to be a little challenging with two dogs, or with three dogs here, but that's okay. All right, so what I do is I, I kind of get down in a crouch or on a knees, whatever I want. Yeah, there we go. Watch. So as soon as she looks at me in the face, I give her the treat. Watch. But I'm not commanding her to look at me. I'm waiting for her to do it on her own and then rewarding her for doing it. Watch. Now that time I extended it a little bit. Watch. Watch. So I'm, ex I'm holding between my gaze and her gaze. All right, so what you want to do is keep on practicing the watch just like I showed you until when you sit down, she's not even, even though you have true treats full of really high smelling, treat, uh, high scented treats, she's immediately looking up at you, mm -hmm. looking in the face. The second the treat touches her lips, she needs to hear the word watch. So what you want to do is keep on practicing this technique. I would start out by practicing it here. So I'll first practice it when the room is quiet like it is now. Then later on, turn the TV on or have a friend come over. We want to gradually increase the level of distractions so she's able to do it amongst other situations. Now, when you're out on a walk, is she reactive to other dogs that she sees? If they are barking at her. Okay. So what I would, what I, what you do for this technique is you want to find a place where you can go where there's maybe a path where a lot of people are going to be walking by with their dogs. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is look for kind of a clearing where maybe there's trees here and there's trees here. So you only have a field of vision like this. Now the two tests that I have for a dog is can I get the dog to sit? Can I, will the dog take a treat? If the stimulus, uh, whatever it's reacting to is too close, the dog won't sit and it won't take a treat. So what I do is I wait until the dog, I, I keep on backing away until I can find a distance where I can get my dog to sit while dogs are walking by and take a treat while dogs are walking by. So then what I do is I, I have the dog here on a leash to keep everything safe and I'm watching this corner if the traffic is coming this direction. So I'm watching and it's even helpful if like there's a party in the, in the woods here where you can see oh somebody's about to come with the dog. So as soon as somebody comes around the corner then I look at the dog and I watch the dog. I wait for her to notice the other dog. Now, because the distance is so great, she shouldn't have a problem turning away. So as soon as that dog appears, you say watch, and then the dog looks up at you. And then you do hold it between your, your face and hers, watch, and then do that. So the idea is to keep on doing this until, at this distance, until when she sees someone come around the corner, she just immediately looks up at you, and you doesn't even have to say, you don't even have to say watch. This is what Karen refers to as the auto watch. So as soon as the dog does that, then what I would do is sit, watch, watch. And I would have 10 treats and do 10 in a row. We want her thinking, holy cow, what did I just do? Because I just got the mother load of treats. Mm -hmm. So once you, you, you get a couple of auto watches from this particular distance, this might take a couple of days. Then we basically collapse the distance between them and the trail. So maybe you take one or two steps and then repeat the process. So we want to gradually keep on doing this for the dog, where the dog gets closer and closer. Now, because you work at a dog daycare, you might be able to find somebody who has a barky dog that can help you mm -hmm. um, so that that dog comes around the corner and starts barking, but it's so far away, we can get her to look away. So what eventually will happen is we get closer and closer, and then what happens is she just kind of starts to identify. When I see another dog approaching, if I just look up my human, I get a treat. Now, if she looks away from the other dog, like we talked about earlier, this is confrontational, sideways is approachable. So if I'm a dog and I'm looking over here and I see another dog and I turn this way and sit down and look at my guardian, to the other dog, I'm not presenting a challenge. I'm putting my side to them, I'm sitting down, and I'm not even giving any eye contact. Oh, okay. Uh, she's at least asking. <laughs> yeah. uh, so what we want to do is keep on doing this until... No. Stand up. Now march at Keep going. And now grab her by her collar and pull her to the edge but not all the way up. So she falls like she, she feels like she feels like she's gonna fall off. And go ahead and film this while you do it. There you go. 
Perfect. All right, grab a seat again. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to keep on repeating this uh, and collapsing the distance. This might take several days until you can be like right here with the path and dogs are barking, you're walking by, and she's just sitting there looking up at you. Now, this is really a technique that Karen developed for dogs that are what's known as leash reactive, which it doesn't sound like your dog is necessarily leash reactive, but it's a good way to get the dog to look away from you. Um, so this is a technique that I would suggest that you practice, and you can also practice this, you know, at the, you know, the, where the trail is, but you can also practice this eventually in your place of work. So you go to the doggy daycare, mm -hmm. and you just increase the distance, and then as dogs come into that room, you're going to be on the far side of the playroom, repeating this exercise, and she's being rewarded for looking away from you. So that's uh, the watch exercise.